What up, world? It's Decent back again with another exclusive edition of Pop Desk Presents. And my guest at this time just released her new EP entitled Acid. We're going to get to the meaning behind that later. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dove. Woo! Hi, my name is Dove. Uh, thank you, Pop Desk, for having me. First off, the obvious question, mm -hmm. the name, where does it come from? I actually don't get asked that question a lot. Really? Yeah, which is crazy. Um, so Dove is inspired, uh, it's partially from like the bird. Um, and so it has that undertone of a uh, sign of good things to come. And then it's also a play off my last name, which is a mystery. Nah, it's Duval. It's kind of like my name, Decent. It's kind of like a play on the word decent, but not as. Not decent? Not as complex as yours. Mm -hmm. and I was just a dumb kid that came up with a cool name. And Wait, that's I am. not your actual name? No, not at all. Mm. My parents had some sense, not naming me decent, but enough about me. <laughs> Back to you and your project, Acid. Now, tell us about the title, Acid. I feel like it's pretty layered. Um, I also never been asked that either. You guys are doing a guys, terrible job. What's happening? No, someone has asked me that. Acid is about, um, I wanted to use that term because I think the project touches on uh, like toxicity and I think that acid is something that you need in your body but it's also something that can cause damage if it's in, out of balance. Wow. So I wanted to play around with that term of having too much of something can be good for you, uh, can be bad for you um, and having not enough of it can also be bad for you as well. So I kind of wanted to play around with those themes because I think they present themselves in very various ways in your life. That's very, very profound. Mm -hmm. So I was right. It was layered. It was so, layered. So technically that makes me a genius. You actually wrote the whole thing. In my dreams. Yes. I'm on acid. A... No, not on acid. That's not how that came about. So one of the things that grabbed me about mm -hmm. your music and your sound is that it's very, very, I want to say haunting, mm -hmm. but in like a very, very calming way. Really haunting. Yeah. It's like, I love that kind of like airy, but like mm -hmm. still powerful and controlled mm -hmm. vocal tone. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you have the type of production that really helps kind of bring it all to life. What's some of the thought process that comes into you fusing this sort of sound together? When I started singing, I did not give myself a genre. So I think that was a good space for me to begin. Uh, I did, you know, go into it saying, oh, I want to be singer and songwriter. And I didn't give myself a box. So I think when I was, uh, you know, looking at influences or listening to things that, you know, I liked, I didn't feel like, oh, I have to make an R&B track to replicate that or I need to make a hip hop track. I kind of just liked these sounds and would apply elements of what I liked into my music. Awesome. And that's kind of the direction that music is sort of going mm -hmm. in these days. You have what I like to call the quote unquote anchor genre, mm -hmm. where like from initial listen, you'll be like, oh, this is this. Oh, right, right, right. But then if you keep listening, you go, wait, this isn't this. Right. You know, it's right. layered. There's right. different elements to it. And I right. feel like we're kind of in this space musically where you kind of have to do cross genres a little bit. That's mm -hmm. not to say that you can't stay true to the mm -hmm. one thing that got you to the dance, mm -hmm. but it's very refreshing to see that when you go and you create, you're not having this sort of limiting thought process mm -hmm. when it comes to you putting songs together. Mm -hmm. So. How long did it take you to put this project together? Was You was the first song I, I wrote. So that process started, I was still in Korea when I started writing that. So I started writing that last January. So uh, I think um, it may be, I would say roughly eight months to a year. Like it wasn't consistent. Like I would write it, take a break from it. Um, go back to it. The big thing for the project was I wanted to produce myself, which is why it took so long. It might have even been toward a year, but that was a huge part. So I was learning as I was going. So the wow. process was a lot slower. Like I had to, I was learning how to produce while I was writing. And I'm still learning. I'm very much, you know, beginner in that. But I feel that when I was learning how to write the music, I felt better because um, producing music, because I felt like I had more control. But I still did not know what I was doing, so I had to learn as I go and like write a song and be like, hey, how do I put a kick in there? I'm like, Google kicks, how do you do that? Um, but that's that's part of why the project took the time that it did, because I, I was pretty adamant on 
producing most of the tracks on there so still for you to put that body of work together in like eight months mm -hmm. you know it's still a testament to how dope you are Thank and you. that's why you're here <laughs> on pop dust pop dust <laughs> pop dust you mentioned that you wrote one of your songs while you were in Korea. Mm -hmm. That's where you actually born, right? No. You weren't? No, I'm from New York, son. You, you're from New York? Yay. Yeah. I was, I was born in New York. Um, I spent a lot of time um, in Korea. Seoul specifically, right? Seoul, yeah. And I was there my most recent trip. Well, I went there recently to perform after Acid's release. So I performed in Seoul and I performed in Tokyo. How was that? It was amazing. It was, it was great. Seoul is some, a place that I want to continue going back to that's where i started singing so that's technically where dove was born and the singer side um so that was six five six years ago um that was my first trip to to korea and then um my most recent like longest stretch was when i was there from 2017 to 2018 writing my last project you having you know all these different influences you know coming mm -hmm. from the united states going to korea mm -hmm. Did that have an effect as far as, you know, not so much just writing, but, you know, just like the type of temperament you would have when you're trying to put out music? Because often at times when we're writing, when we're creating, we're thinking about the audience mm -hmm. as much as we're thinking about ourselves. Mm -hmm. So when you were writing, when you were putting this project together, were you thinking, you know, I want this to resonate with a Korean audience, I want this to resonate with, you know, an American audience? Like, what was your gauge on how songs would hit when it came to people? When I write, I hardly think about like the cultural demographic, I mm. tend to think more of um, the the topics that I'm discussing. So for this project, I was thinking about people who are depressed, um, people who are um, like, um, what's it called? Bottling things in. People who are, you know, happy, but not really making the most of their experiences. And I, I felt like a huge, like a huge, a huge point for this one was depression because I feel like there's a lot of that and it's it almost feels like it's spiraling out of control because there's so many young kids that are like even mm. generation to generation that are just you can just see like the um, culture that we live in it can be quite toxic socially I want people who are going through something to know like they're not alone in what they're feeling so that's more that I was thinking more in that way as opposed to thinking about, oh, this person is Korean, or this person is from New York, or this person is so-and-so. Um, I was thinking more about the feelings that I wanted to address. Yeah, definitely, so. especially since the topic of you know mental health isn't right. as taboo as it once was. Right. If anything, a lot of artists are right. being more open about not only right. their depression or their mental illness, right. but you know right. the type of situations that you know their fans might be going through as right. well. What is on the horizon for Dove? Do we have any visuals coming up, any shows, any more new music, any bar mitzvahs, like what's going on? I actually took these past, like I would say month or two to slow down, which is probably the less exciting answer, but I no, we really- We need it as artists. Yeah, it's cause I'm always like running and gunning and, and doing so much. And I think that what I needed was a time to like recalibrate and figure out what direction I wanted to go in. I'm glad I, t I was uncomfortable taking so much time to slow down because I'm like I was freaking out I was like what do I do like I'm sitting here and, and I that's think it's it. like you know independent artists like that's yeah. another trap that they kind of mm. fall into where they feel like in order to be visible mm -hmm. they have to you keep have working. to be yeah and that's just such a toxic mm. mindset especially now I don't know if I don't know what algorithms have been changing and stuff I just feel like Things are even getting turned out faster. Yeah, exactly. It's it's just so crazy. And I don't want my I don't want to feel like my work is disposable and I don't want to treat it as such. So and even you don't want to feel like lot, you're competing with this imaginary ghost. Exactly. I'm not about that. So I'm taking the time I need to release like the highest quality work that I can. Mm -hmm. Get inspired, mm -hmm. watch some cartoons, eat some beef jerky. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a great plan. Sounds like an amazing plan. Mm -hmm. That should be the name of your mm -hmm. next album. Just Cart beef jerky. Cartoons, cartoons and, and beef jerky. jerky. I want 50%. I got you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dove, thank you so much for stopping by. Where can the people find you out on social media? Uh, I am Dove across all socials. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, I think that's all I have. I am Dove. That's I-A-M-D-U-V-V. -V. 
awesome, awesome. Make sure you guys follow it. Acid is out now. Make sure you pick it up and listen to it. My name is Decent. This has been an exclusive Pop Dust Presents. Make sure you visit our website, popdust.com. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do us a little favor. Click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. And we will see you soon. Peace. <laughs>